Hello my dear students welcome back to my channel today in this video we are going to learn an english poem of class 9 the name of the poem is africa and we are going to discuss the question answers of this poem the poem explanation is already uploaded in my video and the link of that explanation will be shared in the description box for you all so let's move on with the poem's question and answers but before that if you are viewing my video for the first time do subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get the notifications of my all the upcoming videos do watch the video till end and if you like it hit the like button to share with your friends so moving on to the question and answers of this poem we have comprehension c1 heading read the poem silently and answer the following after discussing your response with your partners so under that the first question is how does the poet come to know about the history of africa so when we read this poem we go through it we come to know that the poet is saying discussing about the history so how does he comes to know answer is the poet came to know about the history of africa through the songs that were sung by his grandmother right so we come to know that the poet he though did not live in the land of africa he knew the history of africa because he used to listen to the songs which were sung by his grandmother and she used to say all the history in that song okay so next question the poet did not spend much of his life in africa pick out the line or lines that express this feeling so as we read the poem we come to know that the poet did not spend much of the time in africa so which line express that we have to pick out that lines and write it as an answer so answer is the lines which express the feeling that poet did not spend much of his life in africa are africa of whom my grandmother sings on the banks of the distant river i have never known you okay so these lines says us that the grandmother sings the songs and he comes to know the history with that and he lives bank of the distant river means it's somewhere very far away from his from the place where he is living and he never knows where the africa is how it looks but he just know the history because of the songs which are sung by his grandmother okay moving on to the next question despite staying away from africa how is he able to describe africa so even though if he is staying away from africa how is he able to describe it so answer is though the poet hasn't lived in africa he realizes that the blacks are treated inhumanly and made to work in the fields spilling their sweat and blood they are whipped and their backs are red with whip lashes though the poet is away from his motherland he is able to feel the unbearable pain that his countrymen are undergoing okay so even though he is not staying there he is not living in africa he has heard many news many songs from his grandmother and he knows about the people of africa what are they going through he realized that the back blacks are treated inhumanly they have been tortured they are made to work in the fields throughout in a sunny day they sweat and they even spill their blood in the in the fields to grow and to work so hard and they are whipped whipped in the sense they are beaten up with the lashes with the with the ropes on the backs to work hard and they all have whip lashes on their back and though the poet is away from his motherland he is able to feel all the unbearable pain that his countrymen are undergoing and which he is listening from various sources so this is how even though he is staying away from africa he is able to describe africa in a very good manner okay so moving on to next questions red scars what does this term in the poem refer to so we have to write like what is the meaning of this red scars in this poem as it is red scars refer to the whip lashes that the slaves receive from their masters it refers to the humiliation suffered by the africans okay so your red scars which the poet is saying is referring to the whip lashes means the wound which the people have got on their backs because of the ropes which were hit on their backs 
for their for them to work hard as because they were slaves they were been hidden by their masters they were bitten by their masters so that they would work hard work more uh, more fast or something like that so that we plashes are referred as red scars in this poem the refer the humiliation that the people had suffered okay so this is how you can write this answer moving on to the next question pick out the lines that talk about the humiliation suffered by the africans so students when you go through the poem we come to know about the humiliation that the people of africa had suffered so which are those lines that give us this information we have to pick it out and write here as an answer so answer is the lines that talk about the humiliation suffered by the africans are is this you this back that is bent this back that breaks under the weight of humiliation this back trembling with red scars and saying yes to the whip under the midday sun okay so these are the lines which gives us this information about the humiliation suffered by the africans it's asking that is this you back that is bent why has your back bent you are so strong you never turn back you don't bend it you have to again stand up straight and this back that breaks under the weight of humiliation so much of humiliation has been done that their back is just breaking and falling down and this back trembling with red scars means they have so many wounds and so many marks of red with the red scars which have, which they have been beaten up with the whip lashes and saying yes to the whip on the midday sun means that they are just taking all the whip and the wounds which they have been getting by their masters they are working hard under the midday sun so these lines gives us this information about the humiliation of the african okay next question that tree there in splendidly loneliness explain this phrase with reference to the feelings of the poet about his country so this line that tree there is there in splendid loneliness what does it mean here what feeling is the poet uh, trying to share with this line so answer is This line shows the pride that the poet has towards his country and the countrymen. He says that despite being humiliated many a times, the Africans never give up and tries to stand up and show their independence proudly. The poet is proud of his country which as it's trying to show its independence. Okay, so here these lines shows that the poet is feeling so proud towards his country and his countrymen, because he says that despite being humiliated, even though they have been humiliated many a times and repeatedly, the Africans, the people of Africa, never give up and they try to stand up again and again, and this shows their independence. They're showing it proudly. Yes, yeah, they are independent now. They can be independent. the poet is proud of his country which is trying to show its independence that country is not going down now but it's trying again and again to show its independence to assert it in the, its independence right so this is uh, the way by how you can write the answer next that grows again patiently obstinately and its fruit gradually acquires the bitter taste of liberty okay so this is an extract here and that you have a sub question what does that refer to so in this line what is the word that referring to answer is that refers to his country africa which tries to show its independence despite being crushed by the colonialists okay so your word that is referred to the country africa you know as we have just seen previously that how the africa and the people of africa are trying to show their independence despite they have been crushed and tortured many a times so here this word is referring to africa okay next sub question is how does it grow so answer is it grows patiently and obstinately but gradually so how is this country growing so it's growing patient it means it's taking all the torture everything but even then it's slowly gradually it's developing it's going ahead it's growing independent it's becoming independent okay so next up question what does bitter taste of liberty refer to so the answer is 
bitter taste of liberty refers to the liberty that is not achieved easily it undergoes a lot of pain apart from the physical torture to get its liberty hence it tastes like liberty okay so uh, here the bitter taste of liberty is why the taste of freedom liberty means freedom it's why the freedom is so bitter because it's not achieved very easily it's too difficult it's too hard you it you have to struggle a lot for it you have seen throughout the poem here it undergoes a lot of pain and apart from physical torture you have many other things to undergo and that is how you get the liberty hence it tastes bitter okay so that is why it's not so sweet it's bitter it's difficult to attain liberty so and that we have seen in the poem throughout the poem we come to know about that how much of struggle the people of africans had to undergo for getting their liberty for the freedom okay so moving on to the next question that is c2 complete the table listening the poetic devices the figure of speech is which is given and is used by david diop in the poem two examples are given for you in the textbook right so we have one column of poetic devices and one that the lines which are given in the poem so first one is personification here you have the line your beautiful black black that irrigates the field this is personification alliteration your beautiful black black this is alliteration metaphor that tree young and strong comparison is done here it's metaphor simile we have nothing no simile is used in this poem so we have put dash oxymoron bitter taste of liberty patiently obstinately it comes under oxymoron so these are the few poetic devices which were used in the poem students i hope you have understood the question and answers and with this question we come to an end with this question answer session of this chapter and thank you for watching my video if you liked it do hit the like button and share with your friends we'll be back soon with many such videos till then thank you